front load versus top load, and now the popular hybrid top load is a difficult decision. So in this video, you'll learn the pros and cons of each type, including one style of washer you should never buy, plus reliability based on over 40,000 service calls completed by our service department just last year. Stay to the end, and I'll show you a simple hack to detect water leaks in your newly installed washing machine or any other appliance. It'll cost you less than a dollar. First, let's talk about reliability. Based on over 40,000 plus service calls, the average top load washer will need 5.7% service in the first year. Well, the average front load will need service 6.3% of the time. Both are far below the service rate of an average appliance of about 9.5%. Now, 0.6% is statistically not significant. So contrary to what you've heard, reliability differences are not a reason to consider a front or a top load washer. However, it is more costly to fix a front versus a top load on average, especially the motor and assembly. For example, if you buy a five-year warranty from us and have a motor issue, we automatically replace the machine, even at year five, because it's so intensive to fix. You always want to be sure you have adequate service in your area before you buy any appliance. So from a service perspective, a top load would be a better choice. Top load washers typically won't have issues with mold like front load washers. Mold, mildew, and odor are a function of standing water, which can happen in a front load washer, especially in the gasket and the dispenser. However, mold development in front load washers is preventable and controllable. You should dry the gasket in the back of the machine after every use, leave the door open to allow air to circulate and dry any residual moisture. You can also run the machine in a hot wash or a tub clean cycle once a month. Now, GE has solved the problem and they've introduced microband antimicrobial surfaces preventing the buildup of mold along with GE's ultra fresh fan. The fan inside the drum dries the residual moisture after the cycle is complete. So from a mold perspective, top loads are much better. Front load washer sizes average about 4.5 to 5 cubic feet. They can be as large as 6 cubic feet. The larger size isn't as popular due to the higher price tag, which can be up to $1,000 more for one cubic foot. You now have three types of top load washers to consider. A regular top load washer, which is roughly 3.2 to 3.5 cubic with a larger agitator. Then you have the newer high efficiency type hybrid washers, combining the convenience of a top load washer with the capacity of a front load washer. At least they're supposed to. The impeller or no agitator models are supposed to clean the clothes like a regular top load. As much as I like the idea, we've never seen this type work to clean clothes for any manufacturer. You can't add a bigger drum, subtract the mechanism that actually cleans the clothes. And we don't sell this type of washer at Yale. However, the hybrids with agitators seem promising. They have a good capacity of 4.7 to 4.9 cubic feet, decent spin speeds, and even advanced features like automatic dispensers. Let's look at how these compare for price, a bit more about real usable capacity, efficiency, and overall features. Traditional top load washers are the least expensive, starting at roughly $400 less than front load washers. A good hybrid with the agitator should start at about $679, where front load will start typically at $799 to $899. I'll show you a way to get the best price in any brand or type later in the video. But at least for price, top loads will be the less expensive choice. The listed capacity of any top load is about 3.2 to 3.5 cubic for a regular top load, as we said previously, and 4.8 to 5 for a hybrid. Will actually be 0.6 to 0.8 cubic feet less than advertised because of the agitator. Front loads don't have agitators. From my new experience with the top load, that agitator makes it harder to load larger items like blankets and sheets. So from a capacity standpoint, the front load's a better choice. Top load washers use about 348 kilowatts yearly, while front loads use less than half at 159, and hybrids are in the middle at about 212. It's not just electricity, it's water. Average top load uses 40 gallons of water and can fill up to 70 gallons on deep fill cycles. While front load washers use about 10 to 14 gallons of water with the hybrid again in the middle at about 17 gallons. Having a high spin 
in your washer significant in extracting water from your clothes for less drying time. Front loads average 1160 to 1300 RPM spin speed. Top load averages about 700 with hybrids at about 850 RPM. You'll notice a difference if you're washing a full load of laundry. I now have to dry my bed sheets, bulkier items, and even sweatpants twice in my new top load set. From an efficiency standpoint, front loaders are much better, even when you consider the larger capacity. Even though front load washers spin faster, they're also gentler on your clothes because the clothes effectively wash themselves by rubbing against each other in the wash cycle. Top load washers are tougher on clothing because of the agitator. Oftentimes the clothes can be knotted around the agitator in my top load. Well, this never happened in my front load I had in the previous 20 years. Interesting, the new G Profile Hybrid top load has a knot cycle to prevent knots from occurring. So from a washing and drying standpoint, a front load will wash and dry better. Every machine in any configuration has enough cycles. The average machine has 10 cycles and 11 options. Even my new older top load has plenty of cycles. But front load and now the better hybrids offer some more advanced cycles worth considering. Steam loosens up tough stains so they can be powered out. It's almost a standard for front load washers and a few HE top loads. Speed cycles are also becoming popular in both styles. In most front load machines, you can now wash a small load in about 15 to 30 minutes, but now LG has their Turbo 360 cycle with five high pressure washer jets in their front load and now their top load HE washers. Automatic dispensing detergent is a feature you should consider. You can add eight to 40 loads of detergent depending on the brand. It's not just a convenience, an automatic detergent dispenser will prevent you from placing too much detergent in the wash. And too much detergent is a problem for front loads because you only need a capful. All the detergent becomes foam and that foam can create an expensive future service call. It's only available on better front load washers and a more basic automatic dispenser is available on a GE hybrid. For cyclists, it's a draw. But some of the better features are only available on front loads and new HE hybrids. Wait for holiday. A low promotion stopped during the pandemic and subsequent supply shortages. They were once 10 to 35% off offers and that's not just for washers, that's for all appliances and any holiday. This is the best hack ever, and it will work with any type of appliance. It can save you from a potential nightmare, and it's so simple. After any of our deliveries on a dishwasher, washer, or refrigerator with a dispenser, we place specially designed laminated paper underneath to detect water leaks. So our clients see any water on the paper within 24 hours, then call us to reinstall or fix. So after your appliance is delivered, just cut a piece of wax paper and place it underneath your appliance in order to detect any water issues. After 24 hours, if you don't see any water, just remove the paper. There is no single best washing machine. Front loads are larger and less expensive to operate, but there are other considerations. And you should buy based on what you value. Top of the washers are cheaper to buy and easier to fix. I don't bend as much as I once did for my front load to retrieve my clothes and you and I don't have to worry about mold or any other dispensing issues. I never even have to remember to leave the door open. However, with the front load, you'll be doing less laundry and even save money per load with greater water efficiency. Front loads are gentler on your clothes and have more updated features like auto dispensing and steam. After wash cycle, your clothes need less time in the dryer due to the high front load wash spin speeds but the middle ground will be the new HE top loads or hybrids that are less expensive and have some of the features of both. Lower prices and the convenience of a top load with some of the capacity and efficiency of a front load. So it comes down to whether you want a more basic, less expensive machine like a top load or more modern machine with greater efficiency and features like a front load washer or the hybrid compromise in the middle. Which would you pick? If you wanna learn more for the best front load washers, click here. For the best top load washers, click here. Thanks for watching.